Hey everyone, welcome back to my low content publishing design tutorial series. My name is Rachel Harrison Sand. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a book cover using Affinity Publisher. Now Affinity Publisher is a professional level desktop publishing software, and it is absolutely ideal for creating all of your low content book covers and interior files. And this program is pretty fantastic. It's going to give you all, well, almost all of the same features that InDesign has, and InDesign being the industry standard for desktop publishing. And it's going to give you all of these things at a fraction of the cost. So it's a really great program that I recommend. And without further ado, I'm just gonna flip the screen now and we will jump right into the tutorial. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download your book cover template from KDP. I've already done that, so I've got mine right in front of me here. Now, first we need to determine our book cover dimensions. So our dimensions are going to be the front cover plus the back cover plus the spine, and that is going to equal our document width. And the height is just going to be the height of the trim size and that's basically it. We're gonna set up the bleed once we're in Affinity Publisher, so that's all we're going to have to worry about. So for my particular document, this is going to be a six by nine journal for a 150 page book. So I've got six inches over here, plus six inches over here, plus the spine, which is 0.34 inches, and that's going to equal 12.34 inches for my width, and then for height, it's just going to be nine inches from top to bottom here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Affinity Publisher and create a new document. All right, so we're going to make sure we're on print. Document unit, most likely we're going to want inches. I'm going to leave my image placement policy as linked. Number of pages, one. We won't worry about master. So for our layout, I've already got this in here, so it's 12.34 by nine inches. I want DPI set to 300. I don't need to worry about facing pages because it's just going to be one page. And color, I'll make sure I'm on CMYK. You can set up margins if you want. I've set up mine at half an inch. And then bleed is going to be 0 0.125 inches all the way around. So you'll see a little chain link here. If you just enter it in the first space and then hit tab, it will populate all of these other fields. All right, so we'll hit OK. All right, now I'm going to place our book cover template. So image, place. And it doesn't matter if you use the PDF or the PNG, either one is fine. And I'm just gonna click anywhere. Now that's obviously not centered. So we'll go to the alignment tool up here, we'll click that and make sure that we have align to page or spread here. Then we're going to hit vertical and we're gonna come down here. Sorry, that was horizontal, this is vertical. And now we're nice and centered. So let's find the layer that this is on. And we can do that by coming over here to the layers palette now, if you want, you can rename this uh, just by double clicking on it. You can call it template if you want. I'm just gonna leave it as is because I know what it is. And then what I'm going to do is turn the opacity down to probably about whatever, 30%, 40, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to lock this layer now I'm going to add a layer and I want my artwork to be underneath the template layer. So I'm just gonna move the template layer to the top here. Now I can place my artwork underneath. So I'll go to File, Place. And there we go. So I'm just gonna line that up with my bleed. You can just zoom right in by pressing Z. You can just make sure that this is perfectly aligned with your bleed. And as you can see here, mine is not. So I'm gonna wanna just put that up a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's over the bleed, but 
it can't be, you know, kind of down there. It's got to be at least to the edge. So I'll make sure it's like that all the way around. Again, this looks like it's not, so I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. All right, now I'm just going to turn off my template layer for a second so I can concentrate on building the file underneath. So I'll just hit this little check mark here and that turns it off. Now we've got our front cover pretty much ready to go without the type, but we've got nothing on our spine or back cover. So obviously you could do another image on the back cover here. Um, if you wanted, you could edit this artwork so it extends to the back, but we're not gonna get that complicated right now. Basically, I'm gonna do a solid color background that matches the front. So I'm gonna drag out a rectangle. Again, I'm gonna line it up with my bleed and I'm just gonna pull it all the way across. And then I'm gonna choose one of the colors from this book just so it matches. So I'll go over to my eyedropper and I can just click around and decide on which one of these colors I want. So this probably makes the most sense, or even that one. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it with green, so that looks good to me. Now, what I want to do is turn on my template again and just make sure that everything's lined up properly. So I'll zoom right in there and make sure that this back cover color actually aligns properly with my spine. So that's about right. And I'll turn that off again. Basically, I just wanted to make sure that that color block lined up perfectly with the artwork, which it does. So now that I've got my artwork set up, I can add in my title. So again, I'll just turn that on for some reference and I'm gonna drag out a text box. And what I'll do is I'll just drag it out from edge to edge. So from the edge of my spine to the edge of my book. And then my type will be centered. So obviously it's not centered yet but I can center it by using this little button up here. And I'm gonna want that to be bigger. So we'll leave it at that for now and then we'll play around with the font. So let's see here. All right, again, let's just turn off our template. Probably make that a bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna go into preview mode. Now this type, the letting is a little bit too big for my liking. So letting is just basically the amount of space between lines of text. So there's two ways I can fix this. I can go to character and this is the letting here. So I can just click these arrows to either increase or decrease the letting. All right. And the last thing I want to do with this is change the color. So black looks okay, but maybe I'll try something different here. Again, I can just select the type. I can grab my eyedropper tool and click somewhere else that I want to sample a color from. Obviously I can change the color um, up here, but it's always nice when you're adding typography to some artwork to sample the color of, of the artwork and then everything ties in rather nicely. So I'm 
pretty happy with that. Obviously, if this was your book, you'd want to name some name it something a little bit more uh, compelling than just camping journal, but you get the point. Obviously, if you wanted to add in a subtitle, you could do that. And last thing I usually want to do is add in some sort of a logo. So I'm going to click out of preview mode just so I can see my margins. And I'll place my fake logo that I like to use in all these tutorials. And so when you're placing, you can either just click or you can actually just drag it out to the exact size that you want. So. All right, so I'll click, out of, I'll click into preview mode again. And let's see, um, we'll go back to layers. You can turn on the template layer. If you want, you can turn up the opacity a little bit more. So we've got to unlock it though to do that. And nothing's over the barcode. Everything is as it should be. There's no text in any unsafe areas. So that's great. So I can either just turn that off or basically I'll just unclick it and that will make it not visible. You don't actually have to delete the template. Just make sure that it's unchecked so that it doesn't actually show up. If you wanted to, you could add your title to the spine as well. Um, basically what you would do is just grab your text box and Uh, let's just make that super small here. Now on a lot of my journals, I don't actually put any text on the spine because some of them are just so small that it's not really going to be legible anyways, but I'll just show you here um, just for the sake of it. So we'll turn, turn our template back on. Um, probably I will center this and and then we'll turn it around. So, all right, so we'll go to layer, transform, rotate to the right. So that's the easiest way to do it. And then to get it perfectly centered, I'll just drag this out right to the edge and that will be perfectly centered. And of course I'll zoom in and just make sure it's not anywhere near those unsafe areas. So that should be good. As I said, I don't normally put text on my spine, just unless it's a thicker book. Okay, and then, like I said, if you're happy, then it's time to export. So we go to File, Export. Make sure you're on PDF for print. Make sure it's not for web or any of these other ones. PDF for print. DPI is 300. Include your bleed. Whole document and hit export, and that is it. All right, there you have it. There is our finished camping journal cover ready for upload. All right, so there you have it. I hope you guys found that useful. Click the subscribe button and that bell if you wanna get notified every time I put one of these videos out. And for more low content publishing tips, you can head over to my blog over at rachelharrisonsund.com. And of course, if you haven't downloaded my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in Less Than a Day, then you can do that by clicking the link in the description as well. All right, take care guys, bye-bye.